uh, uh, but and uh, and the last bartending job I had, I was fired from, uh, and uh, but uh, it worked out uh, yep. <laughs> because we got a we story. Are. There you go. We got a story. Wait, uh, why, why were you fired? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, why were you fired? This is yeah, we're, Brennan. We're, we're Just diving, tell us. Just we're tell us. Though. Don't tell everyone right else. Truth. This is. A, I'll try. I'll try to tell this as, as succinctly as possible. I took off over half of my shifts and I only had two shifts a month. No, two shifts a week, sorry. Two shifts a week. I took off half of my shifts in a two month period uh, to go do free improv shows. And uh, our manager, Katie, <laughs> invited me to a meeting after that. Uh, but I also, this is hard fun things. I needed dental surgery really badly. And uh, uh, so I had this moment where she called me to her office right before a month that I had truly taken everybody's shifts they wanted to get rid of. I was gonna be working like 60 hours a week because I found out that I needed surgery for this bad infection in my mouth. And I was like, cool, we're gonna make the money. I didn't have insurance, we're gonna go for it. I got called down to Katie's office and she was like, so Brennan, you, you take, how many shifts do you work a week? I was like, two. And she's like, okay, so how many shifts is that in two months period, period eight weeks? I was like, well, that's 16 shifts. She's like, you've taken off eight shifts in the past two months. So you don't work here, and we're just gonna make that official now. Oh, oh. And <laughs> damn, damn, that is that is an all. I mean, hat off. That's an awesome line. Before that you that's pretty awesome. good. <laughs> like that's good. That's pretty yeah. good, right? We could all yeah. agree that's pretty yeah. good. That's pretty that's good. Boss. I mean, it could only be yeah. better if she would have ended it with like, so why don't you go out and make believe like you got your tooth surgery? <laughs> like play a little make believe. <laughs> <Yeah. really. laughs> Like, that well, could be the only well, like, that's the way thing. to heighten that scene. We, Good luck here's, sanding your dentist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, Why don't you yes and some Blue Cross Blue Shield, Brennan? Huh? Yeah. Why don't you do that? <laughs> Truly. Well, that, that's also the funny part of it, too, is, is you realize any in any TV show, D&D, &D, actual play, whatever you're watching, where a raw-ass line gets dropped, thank God for the edit. Because the truth is, she dropped that line, and that's where the TV show would be like, wow! <laughs> and then edit, uh, you know, to the next scene. Because what happened immediately after that was I, a full grown man, burst into tears. Yeah. So oh, that was the immediate. I'm so sorry. Oh, of course. I was. I was With a bill looming like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, yeah. I, I, so now I have to, I actually have to finish the story, which is that. Um, so the so I, I burst into tears and I was like, I am facing a medical expense that I don't, will not have the ability to meet or cover. And I was depending on these shifts to like make that up. So she she basically goes um, like, okay, I, I'm sorry to hear that, but I could see in her face, like bartenders handle the cash for a business. So once a bartender has smelled the ax coming, they're done, you know, like they're, you can't let them handle the money for the establishment. Oh. Like it's just a huge liability if a person knows they're gonna be let go and they're handling all the money. and. So uh, she said, come back the next, she says, uh, she says, I'm gonna be in touch with you. The next day, good bo boss number one, who did not tell me to charge for the whiskey, calls me in uh, and asked me how much the surgery was going to cost out of pocket. And I said the amount, and I said, that sh I should be able to work that off in, in probably like 10 or 15, 10 to 15 shifts. And, uh, and he counted out a bunch of cash, put it in an envelope and handed it to me and, uh, it truly, and I was like, what is this? He's like, it's a, you know, he's like, this is for your surgery. And I went, I can't like, I, I can't take this. I, this is like, so, you know, went back and forth. And he was like, if it helps you to think of it as a loan, think of it as a loan, but I won't be chasing you down to pay it back. In fact, you'll have to chase me down to pay it back. I was able to afford the surgery. Uh, for years, I was unable to ever repay back even a fraction of that. And then I won a bunch of money on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, uh, <laughs> which is a true story. Wait, really? I, yeah. yeah, true story. That's how I, I afford didn't know to, this. That's how I afforded being able to move out to Los Angeles. Hello, Chris Harrison. Welcome to the show. Are you guys ready for a great day of millionaire? Yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. Because I'm here to tell you that you are our attorney contestant is a very recent bachelor who is only four questions away from the million dollars. So he may not be single for long, ladies. From Hell's Kitchen, New York, please welcome Brennan Mulligan. <laughs> Brennan, welcome back. Good to see you. 
That's right, four questions away from the million dollars. I love starting out a show by saying, I guarantee you're at least walking away today with $50,000. <laughs> because last we left, you achieved that last threshold of $50,000. So now look at you. You're just steps away from that $1 million, four questions away from $1 million. But again, the good news is, this is a freebie here. You're at least walking away with the 50 you came into today. So, great shape. Have you ever seen that kind of money? No, sir. Uh, I, grew, I, I grew up in a great family that gave me and my siblings everything we could ever ask for, love and support and education, just not money. And we grew up uh, we grew up with not a lot of money, and uh, this is going to be, e even if this is what I walk away with, it's going to be a really big deal. It means a lot. This has just Tell become a wild... Told me. This is because <laughs> we didn't know that we hit on, like, an extremely deep... In any case, fuck Pirates of Leviathan! Yeah, just to be Brennan History Hour, yeah, Jesus! Yeah. So I, so we go, we go. Uh, so I, I, I won money on this game show, which was the believe me, the only way I was ever a getting out to Los Angeles or b paying back even a fraction of the debt I was in at that point. But in any case, I won a bunch of money on this game show. Uh, I walked back to the old bar. I hadn't, I hadn't been there in years at that point. Walked back with the money that he had given me and when I didn't have any other option and I walked up and I said, Hey, is, is Ron in here? And someone's like, Oh, he's downstairs in the office. I'll give him up. Um, uh, and they bring him up from downstairs in the office and he's like, really? Hello there, friend. What, what, what can I, what can I do for you? And I was like, Ronan, I know it's been years since you've seen me, but I told you that I'd come back one day and pay you back here. Here it is. And I put it in his hand and he looked up and said, what's this? And I was like, it's the, money you it's like the large amount of money you gave me for surgery and he looked at me and i realized he didn't know who i was and i went i you gave me you saved my life i was like i'm my name's brennan i used to work for you i bartended here for like about a year and a half about a couple of years ago and this was the money you gave me for surgery and he looked at me and his eyes went wide and he went you're giving back the money and i went yes and he went nobody ever gives it back and it means that he did that shit all, all the, the time. time. Oh my oh my God. God. Wow. You guys, I've never seen Kings of New York, so now I think this is what it was. And it was <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Uh, that was extreme. an emotional roller coaster. Yeah, oh my yeah, God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Amazing story. I know. I, I built it up in my head so much. I'm like, I'm going to be the prodigal son returning, and he's going to to know, you know, who I am. And it's going to be this. And he didn't recognize me. And then I realized the reason he didn't recognize me is because uh, this was the guy who did this stuff all the time. And he, he bought me lunch, and we caught up and talked for like an hour and a half. He's the sweetest dude in the world. And he oh. ha held the envelope, and he said, I want you to know that uh, I'm going to be holding on to this until the next person comes along who needs it. Oh, that's uh, wonderful. Oh. Very What's wonderful is this incredible <laughs> image of you. I, I'm, I'm, we're going to flip the script from mini game number one. I want to hear wholesome things about you, things that present you in a positive light. Brennan, we will start with you. This sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, uh, well, because it's forcing you to brag, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I take vacation time off of work, and instead of going to vacation, I go work more at a different other place, which is the summer camp. And the past couple of years, I donate my salary to the fund that sends uh, financially needy kids to camp. I'm gonna give you the full five points. Yeah. Ah!